In this video, I will show you how to prevent OneDrive from installing for new user accounts. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can also find all the commands and snippets that I will be using for this video. And first I will show you this manual method. This will allow me to explain how everything works. And then I will show you this command right here that is a bit more automatic. And one thing to know before I start this video is that OneDrive is not installed by default. The installation happens on the first logon. And the methods that I will be showing in this video will not uninstall OneDrive, but they will prevent OneDrive from installing. And to prevent OneDrive from installing, we need to modify the default user's registry. And that's because the default user's registry is used as a template for all the new users that you're creating on the computer. And in the default user's registry, there is a registry entity that is responsible for executing the OneDrive's installation. Basically, the idea is to remove this registry entry. And after we remove it and then we create new user accounts, they will not have this entry and the OneDrive installation will not happen for those new users. And now I will start my demonstration and for that I will go to my VMware workstation where I have few virtual machines prepared. So first I will be performing the registry settings on this virtual machine and then I will show you the result and then I will just skip out of the box experience on this one without making any changes and then we can compare the two virtual machines. And now I will open a command line in this virtual machine so for that I will press on my keyboard shift and F10 and this brings us the cmd window and now to load the registry i will write reg load then we need to provide the location in our registry where we want to load the default users registry hive i will be loading it in the hk local machine and then i will load it in the image folder and then we need to provide the location for the registry that we want to load so the default users registry location is c drive then users folder then default users folder and the file itself is called ntuser.dat file now i will press enter and as you can see the operation completed successfully and if i open regedit we can find the loaded registry in here so under the local machine we have this image folder that i provided in my command line here. And now we need to go to software, Microsoft, then Windows, current version, and somewhere here we have this run registry key, and here we have the registry entry for the OneDrive installation. And now I will just right click on it and I remove the registry entry. And that's basically it. Now we can close regedit. We need to unload the registry. So for that, we can write reg unload and provide the location in our registry that we want to unload. So here you can see the command and you can also find it in my GitHub page right here. Then I will press enter. Once again, the operation completed successfully and that's basically it. And the last thing that I need to do is to go through the Windows setup right here and I will not be doing it manually because here in my USB drive, I have this provisioning package that will perform the setup automatically without any user interaction. So I'll just plug this USB drive to this virtual machine. As you can see, the provisioning process has started. And now I will disconnect the USB drive and then go to this virtual machine, the one that does not have the registry settings. And I will connect the USB drive to this one. And now let's wait a bit and see what's going to happen. And as you can see, the second virtual machine that did not have the registry settings finished the provisioning process. And here in our taskbar, we can see that we have OneDrive installed. Also, if I go to settings and then apps and installed apps, somewhere here, we should also see OneDrive. And like I said before, this virtual machine didn't have the registry settings removed. Now let's go to the first one. And this one had the registry entry removed. If I go to my taskbar, we don't see OneDrive in here. If I go to settings and then apps and installed apps and search for OneDrive, you can see Windows cannot find it because OneDrive was not installed on this one. 
and this means that removing the registry entry prevented OneDrive from installing. And that's basically it for this method. Now I will go back to my GitHub page and show you this command right here. And this snippet also prevents OneDrive from installing, but it works a bit differently because it does not modify the default user's registry. But instead here I'm using active setup. And active setup is a very similar fun functionality to run, but there are many differences. And one of them is that active setup is executed before run is. That means that if I'm using active setup to remove the registry entry from the current user, before a run is executed, the OneDrive installation will not happen. And if you want to know more about how Active Setup works, you can check out the videos that I have here in the bottom of the page. I cover both Active Setup and also Run and Run Once. And now I will click on the button right here to copy this snippet, and then I will go back to my VMware workstation. And here I have another virtual machine. As you can see, OneDrive installation is happening currently. And I will be executing on this user that command and after that I will create a new user account and I will try to sign in for the first time and as and you will see that active setup will remove the registry entry that is responsible for OneDrive installation and the OneDrive will not be installed on the new users. And for that I will go to my start menu, I will search for PowerShell and I will run it as administrator. Then I will execute the snippet from the GitHub page. And now I will create another user account. I will use net user commands. I will create username John. And then let's add add. And that's basically it. Now I will sign out from my admin user and I will sign into the John's account. And as you can see, John's account finished loading. If I go to my taskbar, we can find OneDrive. If I go to settings and then apps installed apps and look for OneDrive, we can see that the snippet that I had here prevented OneDrive from installing on this user account. One thing to note that this command that active setup will execute the command that we have here once for each user during the logon. And that means that all the users that I will be creating in this virtual machine will not have OneDrive installed. And this command works not only for new users, but also existing users. But because OneDrive is already installed, most likely on those users, it will have no effect on them. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.